What's up guys, this is RG giving you another High Definition Broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and we are going to be doing a redo of the video because I was giving you guys some misinformation um, and I thought I was right at the, at the time, uh, but I wasn't. Um, it ended up being that Cataclysm is actually a, a magic attack uh, then a physical attack, so I was like spamming people telling them to use Nyx, which was like super nub of me. <laughs> so uh, uh, this time I'm actually going to tell you what to do, uh, and I, I um, have a little bit of a better guide this time. So let's go ahead and get into it now. Um, the actual monsters you want to bring instead of like a Nyx or something is the um, Metius or Metus. It's um, the uh, Evil Drake Lord, uh, Lilith obviously, um, and then Nemean, and then Valkyrie. So those four monsters are really good. I don't suggest going haste uh, if you have a good amount of DPS, uh, and I don't think you need more than one healer as long as your healer is upgraded to the full amount of heals, and then you can take um, on your healer two AoE heals. So you take two AoE heals and then one uh, like uh, re recover or cure. You should be okay with that. Um, if you don't have a good healer or your healer isn't very confident in himself, you can go ahead and take two healers. However, I don't recommend it um, if you want to try to get him down in one shot. Um, probably could do it if you have like some, if you like all the rest of your characters are archers and, and mages and you're just spamming the main the whole way, um, or if you're spamming Lilith in the main the whole way, you should be okay. Um, but uh, I wouldn't suggest it if you don't have like incredibly high DPS. So the first thing that we uh, you see is um, some ether exchanges going off. We're doing lethal strikes right now, basically trying to get um, our uh, buffs up. Uh, as you can see, the uh, Argo actually does a good amount of damage to our healer as well. Um, so he does use a dignity on himself, um, and that is uh, an AOE heal. It does cost a lot of mana and has a big cooldown. So. Um, the Dignity went out, Lethal Strikes is going out, the Clicks went out straight onto uh, Rico, and at this point, um, he d he has like a lot of his cooldowns are being used. Uh, now, as you can see, again, he has uh, his Unison up, and now he's actually going to use his Valkyrie to get some of the buffs on our on our team, uh, just to uh, basically alleviate some of his cooldowns, as well as uh, give us a little bit more uh, mitigation or defense that is going to help us uh, fight this. Um, Pangea. So basically, uh, at this point, um, Rico doesn't have very many cooldowns. Uh, he does area recover, but now he doesn't have anything. We're actually spamming uh, Gao to uh, use his uh, unison. Like, yo, use your unison, Valk, Valk. Right? I'm using. I'm telling him to use his unison, uh, but he actually does it late, and our, our healer goes down. Um, the healer at this point is the only healer we have. So um, if he would have used the Valk, might have saved him. However, um, yeah, I probably would have because his cooldowns would have been uh, got uh, all the way up, and then the Valk also would have given defense. So most likely he would have been alive. However, Gao at this point was like juggling a baby. He said that like his baby was like in one hand, and then his his uh, game was in the other. So I can't really blame him for that. Um, as far as uh, the fight goes, though, you want to definitely be able to. Um, you know get as much damage as, as possible as you can see um, we are kind of like uh, out of sorts without a healer here and I definitely see our guild um, doing this without any like uh, mess ups as well as uh, we were using Nyx like the whole time thinking that the uh, cataclysm was um, a physical attack and we were, we were like oh yeah his his skill on is you know the character is physical attack and it's a six damage attack so yeah cataclysm must be it must be a physical attack right so but that, honestly um you know it, it was just like a mistake and the mistake that we did uh so we i think that um once we actually have like the mains and lilith only uh and valks then we'll be okay we don't need to pop any any more haste just use an like, ether exchange and, and we're probably gonna uh, one shot it next time. Uh, at this point, um, you can see that he's actually um, debuffing everybody here. Like as you can see, we have we have like um, blinds going up on the top uh, of our screen as well as he, he debuffs everybody. Now, at this point, um, we have Lilith going on on the boss. That's good. He's the Lilith is gonna give 50% um, debuff on all of his. Um, all of his his skills. So now, as you can look at look at the bottom of the screen. Oh, it's this way. Uh, Rico is one second left, and that's when I want to swap back in. When Rico swaps back in, I want to swap back in because I have unison, and then I'm, I'll be able to protect uh, Rico with that. Um, 
with that right now. So I'm like, quick, 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 can you can you uh, swap me, swap me, swap me, right? I'm like clicking on him, telling him to swap, telling him to swap. Now he uh, is, he actually sees that I swap him. Now I'm going to hop in, and then I'm going to pop Unison as, as soon as possible. And I want to go ahead and uh, use the Valkyrie, because um, Ar Argo does do uh, physical attacks. He just doesn't do... Um, physical attacks with Cataclysm. You know, Cataclysm is a, a basic magic attack, so, um, you know, Valkyrie does have magic defense on it. It's like, it's not like it's useless. Uh, it's just that, um, the Nyx is gonna be useless to him. I mean, it's, it's gonna do more magic damage if you have a, a bunch of mages and stuff, but, um, I would suggest using a different uh, unison than uh, Nyx. Don't you, don't even bring Nyx, um, if you, uh, if you have to, if, uh, any other options. So, looks like uh, we're going to basically get back in the groove of things now that we have our healer up it's gonna be a lot easier for us so as you can see here we go uh, he's got his ether exchange he's using his dignity um, we're getting Penji up and basically what we want to do now is get some buffs on us honestly I wouldn't suggest using um, the bird or Nyx on this so this run was very very messy and we did a bunch of like mistakes uh, but we did get him to a good amount of uh, damage so we have the damage where it needs to be it's just the execution was off so uh, he's attacking us with that uh, triple attack on top he's uh, we're getting healed right here and then now we're just looking to um, cleanse the uh, balance off basically the buff so anytime Fanazo comes up you definitely want to cleanse Fanazo off. So we, here we go, giving our getting our buffs back, uh, getting that um, Nemean up, and we buff it up. Make sure that you guys got uh, Valks if you have them, use them. Uh, Nemeans use them, and all those good that good stuff. I will have a um, a guide in the description below. It'll be better than the the previous one. So Fanazo, there it is. You want to take that off with balancing. Uh, as soon as possible, there you go. Uh, Cero uses the balancing. Then we uh, go ahead and damage as much as possible. Here comes the Cataclysm. Now, let's go ahead and pause it right there. Let's go back for a second. So, right here, after the buffs right here, he, he he's uh, going to use a Finazzo. So, he at this point, he has... Uh, debuffs on him, right? He has debuffs on him right here. His attacks going down. His magic attacks went down. Uh, that's that was Nyx earlier. So he doesn't um, honestly. Those buffs actually don't do anything to him besides make take uh, more damage from magic attack because the attack um, that he's um, going to do, which is the Cataclysm, isn't going to be affected by the negative attack. It's ma uh, magic attack. So you want to put a negative magic attack on him, okay? Um, so right here, the Fanazo. As you can see, the uh, debuffs are still on him. Right when the Fanazo comes up. He does no. He no longer has any buffs. So basically, that cleansed everything off of himself, like as if he used a pur purify, and also buffed himself. Um, and th at this point, we're gonna. Um, Sarah is gonna go ahead and. Um, oh, it's this way. Sorry. Uh, Sarah is gonna go ahead and uh, cleanse that or balance that off of him. So there he is. He balances. Buffs come right off, right? So that's what you want to do every time. And then at this point. You can see Kage has um, a unison, so you either want to pop um, a Met Metus, I think his name is Metus, M-E-T-U-S, um, the Drake Lord. You can pop Lilith, um, you can pop Valkyrie, or you can pop um, who's the last one, Nemean, right? I think I, I don't know if I said that already, but yeah. So Cataclysm's here. You should have. It should have been up already. The um, the buff before this point so it should it should honestly be up right now you should have he should be already popped it uh, because it right, right when he um, initiates the attack it's too late so right at this point it's too late um, so everybody dies right there as you can see um, one two three four five attacks and then you can see my character right there is just dissipating into the uh, abyss one two three four uh, it looks like five attacks. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, it, it depends on how much life you have, um, uh, how many times he hits you. So one, two, three, four, five. I think this is part of his. Yeah, so it's like five. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's just five attacks. It looks like, but um, yeah. Uh, so you want to be very careful of that. Um, you know, this is going to be the most 
most damaging attack that you can take. So it looks like it's going to be 5 attacks of magic damage, like around 10k. Uh, some of them go up to, to 14k as you can see right here, but I think certain people have more uh, less defense than the others. So like Saro, he's like a paper archer, he has like uh, like something like 42k like uh, both both of the attacks, and then his the rest of his um, defenses are like 16k or something. So you, as you can see, like the different defenses um, are gonna really matter if, if you're gonna live or not. Um, right here, you can see that uh, magic reflection uh, procs. So yes, it is a magic attack. So um, yeah, both two magic reflection procs on uh, Kage, and that's why he survived. It looks like uh, half of the damage was uh, absorbed by those magic reflections. Okay, so just just be wary of that. Um, and just know that Cataclysm is really what's going to make you either die, like get wiped on this uh, most likely. As long as your healer is competent, you're, you're, you're going to be okay as long as your Cataclysm is mitigated. Alright, um, so that is pretty much what you guys want to look for. Um, you want to buff your guys, your, your team up, make sure you guys are, um, you know, using the right unisons. Again, I'm sorry guys for telling you to use Nyx. Don't use Nyx. Um, use those uh, magic uh, attack lowering. Uh, by the way, this is at this point I actually froze my computer, um, you know, I mean Unison League uh, went offline for me and you know how, how that is. It just comes offline every once in a while. So that's what happened. Um, I came back in. I, I'm dead right now, so it doesn't really matter. Um, basically, I just come back and everybody has, who had died got swapped out for people that were on the bench. And now they're just trying to unison up. So, just trying to get back to where we are, were before. Uh, it's not the worst si scenario because the actual healer survived. So, not the worst thing that could have happened. Uh, we are getting buffs up and Lilith up, so this is good. And um, we are in a decent spot right now. Um, looks like, uh, yep, everybody's doing good damage. Uh, all the buffs are still up. The clicks goes out on to Rico. That's the high damage. Um, I think that's the physical attack that hits him. Uh, Ether exchange goes out. Looks like, uh, yep, we got a uh, we got a good amount of damage off. Cheers going out. That is the one that actually um, that is the attack um, that actually uh, slows. Um, I mean, not slows, blinds you and prevents unison. So it not only blinds you and prevents unison, but it actually also takes off buffs. So blinds, takes off buffs, and prevents unison. Uh, just, just note that. Look at this. Uh, look at the buffs over here on on the top uh, three players: Rico, Quick, and Yumi. Okay, and then he's gonna go ahead and use this Astania, and then it, boom, hits the top three. Now, as you can see. They no longer have any buffs. There are two people who have unison prohibitation, so probably it's like a 60 or 70 percent chance. And then two of them are blinded. Three of them are blinded. So just be careful for that. Um, it does. This is not the attack that does the um, negative um, haste. So that's this is the one that uh, is annoying for blind. So if you're blinded and you have like low cost, you just want to go ahead and swap out. Um, I mean, anytime you have low cost, you want to swap out. Two Nyx is like the worst uh, unison you can do because, well, I mean, it's not. I guess it's not the worst unison do, you can do because you know there's a lot of other monsters that you can use, but uh, it's a bad unison. You should definitely put up uh, Nemeans and stuff like that. Don't bring any Nyx. If you're gonna bring Nyx, use them as use her as a stat stick, meaning you're never gonna use her as an active unison. Um, the Finaza goes out right here. We want to make sure that it gets um, balanced out. So balance goes out, Acero does it again, and then looks like uh, Throat Needle has unison, so he puts up a Lilith, I'm guessing, no, he's good putting up a, um, a Nemean, double Nemean, that's a good one, uh, it's gonna mitigate damage from Cataclysm if he does it, also gives us an AP boost, and it also gives um, any of the archer, archers or mages damage, so me, KG, Sero and Throat Needle also all gaining good amount of damage from this as well as AP. So here we go, got our hunts off. Um, sometimes it's it's oh yeah, there goes the Estania. So basically he debuffed everybody right there. So sometimes when you actually um, say like sometimes you you buff, 
uh, like say if you have like a five Nemean buff, like it's very rare that you're gonna get that because most of the time not all five players have it uh, unison. But say if you get like a five Nemean buff or even a three Nemean buff or something kind of like two Valk one Nemean, basically the the idea is. Uh, use as much damage as you can before your buffs get wiped. So at this point, I'm like, man, I have kind of like low, um, I kind of have like low, low cost right now. So I'm just like, okay, let's let me just throw up some hunts before I go, so I can get the maximum amount of damage for my AP. But he actually, boom, wipes off all my buffs right here before my damage comes out, right? So that's why I'm doing. A good amount of damage but I'm not doing the best amount of damage also I have misses a lot of misses here because I'm already uh, blinded so uh, sometimes like the best uh, way to do it is actually like just forgo hunt and just use these two um, sometimes you even want to take no hunt and you can go like imaginary shot especially if you're not on the front lines um, like if you're like strictly like somebody that's on the bench and comes off to do damage uh, sometimes it's better to just take imaginary shot um, and then also lethal strikes and a high circle snipe and then you can use balance for your force skill or sometimes you can put ether exchange on your force skill if you're not using balance so um that's what i would uh suggest as far as um all of these buffs are going again uh the bird it will save you sometimes but um honestly like the new monster the new dark monster will save you a lot more than the bird will um because it just prevents two types of da two damages it doesn't the bird actually doesn't prevent any uh, damage it just prevents you from dying so like say if you had like 15k HP and then you get hit twice uh, with 15k damage it'll just, you'll still die or if you even if you get hit by one with 15k damage and the other ones like 100 damage you'll still die uh, as opposed to if, even if the um, you get hit with a million damage with um, the 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 new monster if you hit with two times a million damage you'll still you'll just take zero damage so at this point um yeah another buff get, getting wiped off on the top players uh again if if you uh just tip take all damage skills you might be uh, better off um yeah it looks like we're getting good damage on the boss right now uh, basically just looking for him to use his finazo. I am actually right there as you see I was holding off on doing damage because I, I was the next one who was actually supposed to use the balancing the balancing comes straight off do ether exchange now we're going to go ahead and uh, pop our unison I uh, put the exclamation point up Lilith goes out two Valks goes out that's a good unison uh, it's going to give us a lot of mitigation at this point and high damage, but it's not going to give us as much damage as, say, a Lilith would with uh, two Nemeans. Uh, but it does give us more mitigation for overall attacks. Um, but the Cataclysm itself, it wouldn't give us more dam uh, defense. So as you can see, th that was a really good um, was a really good unison because it gave him mitig uh, mitigation on his damage and it gave him mitigation that the hit damage that he's going to do on our side so our defenses went up and his uh, attacks went down um, looks like the top yes we use another dignity uh, everybody's getting up uh, and you can see Rico is not having a tr trouble healing because one he's a good healer and two because uh, we are using like a semi staggering unison we're not using it like once at one at a time but we're using at least you know two or three at a time we're trying to uh, keep it to three at a time but um, you know we're using sometimes we're using um, random unisons here and there and again don't use the next we, we thought that it was attack damage so careful for that um, there it is again the, the debuff on uh, the top three Rico is getting targeted for a lot of these skills, so a lot of the uh, debuff is going on to the top of the um, the screen because Rico is like the constant healer. He's going to be always in there, so he's going to get a lot of the aggro here. Uh, very good unison. We have um, two, we have two Neman and we have a uh, Valk. So there's going to be the um, it's going to be the Hellcaller, I believe it's called. So yep, Hellcaller level one, going to give us a uh, good debuff here on the boss and uh, again if you, you if you have like a five like five Liliths or something just use like one Lilith and then four in would be like a really really good unison uh, yeah so we're doing pretty good damage here guys uh, 
We're doing a good amount of damage. We're getting our uh, lethal strikes off. Um, as you can see, Quick actually has imaginary shot and uh, lethal strikes and high circuit snipes. So he he did a really good job there. Um, here we go. We got a balancing off on the boss. Um, yeah, here goes uh, another good units in there, uh, getting our good some good buffs off. Um, if you don't like imaginary, uh, or if you don't have any like fatal um, on your bows, you can use uh, Wind of Courage, uh, and that's just gonna buff you just that much more. Um, like say if he, he he clears your buffs or something, then you can you can do that again. Uh, but honestly, it it does take a lot of um, a lot of cost to use Wind, so I, I might want to just go imaginary. So there we go, guys. Um, we we got killed off by the. Um, by the wind there um, and the way that I mean the wind the um, cataclysm there and the way that we would actually um, ooh, the the way that we would actually uh, take that off is actually being able to put it put the lower his magic attack sorry guys uh, lowering his magic attack is basically the way that we the only way you're going to survive that and this is like at the his 20% mark like when he's about to hit 20% he's going to do a really high amount of damage here so just be careful for for um that low lower amount so right at this point we should should have some kind of uh, magic debuff on him um you know the medius or the lilith would be great on him right now so that would be great however we didn't do it and then we died so that is just a lesson to be learned guys no nix and use your uh use that negative uh magic attack so here we go he's putting the up the x uh throw needles putting up the x and he's the only one right there there he goes uh, i got the um unison and i'm putting up some more buffs for us as rico doesn't have any buffs um i want to get him you know defense magic defense so there goes the Fanazo. i put the um Right there, balancing right on top of him. And then uh, he is, there it goes, debuffs. Debuffs on the top three. Alright. Looks like we're doing good damage. Uh, high damage single target attack, taking him down to 1% HP. On Rico, that is. And now you can see Rico and Yumi having the uh, unison, but uh, it's about to be times out. Um, at that point, you know, I, I should have probably swapped out. I had a lot of cost, uh, I mean, almost no cost, and there was people on the bench. So, you know, you can swap out and uh, do certain things like that. Um, and yeah, 15k, you know, it's not great, and we could have done a lot of things better. Um, you know, just not bringing Nyx is one of the things that we could have done. Uh, we should have used a lot more Nemains instead of her. Uh, we should have used Lilith. A lot more uh, we could have done buffs in the beginning so that um, Rico doesn't die um, I think one of the main things over there was Rico dying in the very beginning kind of made made us um, kind of fall down and like try to get back up in like the first like you know three minutes so I really 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 uh, I, I'm stressing that um, that you guys don't bring any uh, don't bring any uh, like uh, what is it called? Um, Nixes, and instead try to bring Lilith or uh, Metis, um, which is the Drake Lord and uh, Nemean and Valks. So those are the four uh, I would definitely suggest you bring. Uh, it's probably the best way that you're gonna do it. Um, I'm sure, like if you ask Yang Yangri or um, I think that's what how you say it. Um, but yeah, they're like they're killing it in one shot all the time. So you can uh, ask them what they're doing. I haven't really gotten to to the point where I asked them yet. Um, but I, you know, I try to like do my own strats, and we we try to do our own thing without having other people help us out. So um, yeah, uh, I think that's it, guys. I want to go ahead and show you uh, this. Sorry, that's not it. This one. So this is the end part of uh, the boss. Basically, um, what's happening here is uh, this is the very end part where I'm I'm uh, starting it here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
All right. So this is the end part. Uh, the nine, last 19%. Basically, we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, we die in the very beginning, uh, and basically it's the same exact fight that you saw in in, in the previous fight, uh, and we just finish him off here. Um, I don't think you guys really need to see it. It's it's pretty much just us going through doing the same exact thing, uh, using Nyx again, even even though uh, it's not we're not supposed to use it. But I actually get the 70k reward. That's what I wanted to show you guys right there. Uh, so we did get the 70k reward there, and I am able to actually uh, equip him, and he, it reforges. Uh, reforge the, the moment where you reforge it. So I was able to UR the Argo this time. Awesome, awesome, awesome moment for me. Um, and also, I was able to put him all the way up. Looks like. Yep, right here, guys. This is the moment, I think. As you can see, there he is, a 198 goblin, putting it right into the augment materials. And looks like we're about to do it, guys. We're about to hit the augment. And look at that Argo, all the way from zero to 198, man. And that's how you do it. You put it in a little goblin, and you use the little goblin every once in a while. You can put it in a hat and put it use your hat. If you have like a one, you know, a one hat or whatever, a one cost hat or a little goblin that you use, uh, I like to use your little goblin because um, it you know helps you with the haste. But um, there you go, guys. I have five monsters only, um, and I am gonna switch to six monsters if the R uh, RGB or rank guild battles comes with this uh, same crystal level uh, as well as you know. Um, yeah, if the same crystal level is how it is now, and the same cost is how it is now, um, and RGB comes, then I'll probably go ahead and switch with to six weapons uh, and six monsters. But um, as for right now, I'll stay how it is. But yes, 198 Argo. I would probably switch to six monsters right now if I had uh, six UR uh, greens, but I don't, because that's what I would use six UR greens. Um, so that's how uh, you do it. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, that's how I did it, and, um, I hope it helps you out, guys. I hope that, um, watching this kind of gives you an idea of what you want to do. Try to one-shot it, um, tomorrow. I know a lot of people kind of, like, started late, and, uh, I kind of wanted to give a guide of, like, maybe how you might be able to one-shot it. Um, I know we didn't one-shot it in this video, but we came very close, and we did so many mistakes that, um, was illuminated by a lot of my viewer actually one of my viewers Bruce Lee was the one who told me that um, uh, cataclysm is a magic attack so thank you Bruce for that man um, I watched all your movies man <laughs> um, but but uh, basically you want to make sure that uh, you look at the video kind of know that we our, ourselves w weren't really prepared totally for it uh, it's hard to get 10 people online we only had like eight uh, people online and then it came up to nine or something and then one of our players were like super disconnecting and stuff and he had like a baby or something at the same time he had like a baby at the raid no <laughs> but uh yeah so basically um yeah i hope you guys learned some stuff about it uh when to use your balancing when to use your buffs uh when to um mitigate damage how to mitigate damage uh what kind of setups to use um, basically, you can go through the video and uh, look what our team was using uh, and use your own strategy as well tor towards uh, your goal of trying to one-shot it or trying to get as much damage as possible as you, uh, on the uh, Argo. Um, I think you guys can do it with this guide. If you guys um, like the video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Uh, I really wanted to make this video again just because I was so disappointed in myself for making the um, mix a part of there he is there she is uh, a part of the video and saying that um, you know to use her so definitely want to use uh, magic defense uh, and uh, magic mitigation rather than attack mitigation all right guys that's it for this one guys definitely catch me on the next video tell me in the comments what you guys thought about the video subscribe please if you could donate if you would like to and that's about it for this one guys Th as always thank you for watching and take it easy peace